Trump's latest move is bolder than ever. He's now officially embracing the world of Bitcoin. And not just in terms of the vibrancy of its finance, Trump announced his goals for the United States to be number one in the Bitcoin mining industry. Now, at present, the hotspots for Bitcoin mining are China, a number of Central Asian countries, El Salvador, and Germany. And what Trump wants to do is he wants to see the United States at the center of this global mining process. But you may be asking, what does all of that mean? And what precisely is Bitcoin mining in the first place? And what does this mean for the future, not just of our own country, but the rising and flourishing crypto civilization? My friend and sponsor, Dan Ryder from Prime DeFi, is here to give his expert viewpoint on Trump's bold move toward the U.S. capitalizing on Bitcoin mining. So, Dan, welcome back. Great to see you again, my friend. Yes, sir. Hey, Dr. Steve. Good to be here. Oh, it's great to see you. Uh, well, Trump seems adamant about all this, about getting the United States to sort of take control of this thing called Bitcoin mining. Can you first explain to us what is Bitcoin mining and what are the outcomes that Trump's hoping for here and, and how can that help our, our country and our economy? Yeah. So in a nutshell, um, Bitcoin mining is the process of um, validating all the transactions that occur with Bitcoin on the Bitcoin network, right? So when person A sends Bitcoin to person B, um, there's a ledger, an open public ledger that is maintained. And there are multiple copies uh, of that ledger, which is what keeps the, the network secure. And um, the other component to that is proofs, right? We keep proofs and accurate records. And so miners are essentially um, uh, groups or people who have signed up to do this job. And uh, the way that job is done is by having a computer solve a really complex math equation to validate a proof of the record, right? So it, it costs um, some resources to do that proof. But the reward is that the way Bitcoin was designed, there's only going to be a finite amount of Bitcoin ever uh, created. And uh, part of the Bitcoin that gets created on the Bitcoin network uh, goes to the miners who help maintain the record of what happens with all the Bitcoin, right? So that's kind of Bitcoin in, in a nutshell. So we have thousands of, of miners globally uh, maintaining the network uh, to what it is today, right? Which is the, the most rock solid blockchain network in existence. It is by far, right? Uh, I mean, Bitcoin is pretty, I know Ethereum seems to come into a a second, a sort of distant second, just in terms of the pricing. But my, oh my, Bitcoin is just seems to have, it really has blazed the trail, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, getting into what, what, what Trump is doing with the stand he's taking on, on Bitcoin being, uh, you know, made in America and, and, and that whole narrative that's going around now, it's great because a lot of, um, not only Bitcoin, but just crypto in general has been, um, pushed offshore, right? Off of, off of uh, off of the U.S. jurisdiction for a right. variety of reasons. You know, we've had the nonsense around Bitcoin's bad for the environment. That's that's a big misnomer that's been disproven multiple times. Right. Um, right. Bad policy, uh, or not not even policy. Bad um, enforcement with lack of proper regulation. You know, against the crypto industry, against Bitcoin. Sam Bankman Freed and all Sam that. Bankman yeah. Freed. Yeah. yeah, lots of shenanigans, and the narrative uh, has been that uh, crypto is a bad thing or Bitcoin is a bad thing. And um, Trump is smart because he he sees this happening, right? He's a business guy. And he sees that uh, if we push innovation offshore, we're going to lose as the leader of the free world, right? And right. like when, since when is America supposed to be last as, right. as an innovator? Never, right? And so I think um, the outcomes that he's hoping for are to bring the crypto industry and, and Bitcoin is a huge component of it. It's half of the entire market. Um, make it safe for people to want to develop and innovate right here at home and not lose right. that business. You know, and that tax revenue, it's good for it's good for the country. We want to keep it on, you know, within our borders here. Right. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And being on the and be on the cutting edge of this DeFi, this whole this whole revolution in finance, it's pretty, pretty astonishing stuff. And it's happening so fast right before our very eyes. What, uh, yeah. how do you think Trump's statement on and bit, Bitcoin mining in general, or just 
or particularly your Bitcoin in, in general is going to influence uh, public perception and, and adoption of cryptocurrencies. It just it just looks like everywhere we look, the former naysayers are starting to finally come around and embrace uh, the uh, future of cryptocurrency. Yeah, he, he has a way about doing that, of, of like forcing a conversation. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and this is something that's needed to be addressed for a long time because, you know, this is a really good segue. This question's great as a segue from the last question, because, you know, one thing that I'd mentioned to add on to the, the, the previous answer that I gave, which, which bridges right into this, this topic here is that not only are we, um, you know, we've been losing talent, right? If, if, if you ignore crypto and, and Bitcoin for a moment, right? What, what makes America great? America has attracted talent from all over right. the world because right. people want to come to the land of the free to pursue opportunity. And, you know, we're, we're entering a new age, right? Crypto, Bitcoin, this is, we've had the industrial age, we've had the information age. We're walking into the, I believe, what will be called the autonomous age. We have mm -hmm. things like wow. AI and ledgers wow. and blockchain yeah. tech, like this is driving the digital future. Right. And who, you know, where's that mind share? That mind share is, is the brain trust, right? Where is that coming from? And if you look at surveys of uh, all the students that are going to school for uh, these these um, these disciplines, right? You have you have subsectors like cybersecurity and things like that. But blockchain is where the vast majority of people studying these fields are going to. And if we don't bring this back to America, if we don't make it safe for crypto to thrive in America, guess where all of our smartest minds for the next generation yep. are going to go? They're going to go offshore. And yep. what's going to happen to America, right? So, so this is so important, and he—he, he, I think he knows this, right? And he wants to keep the talent here, and so by forcing this conversation, um, by making such a bold stand on, I will, you know, uh, stop the war on on crypto. That right. the, the left administration has has just made it a hellhole for you to be an innovator in crypto over the last three years. Right. And he just came out radically and said, "I'm putting a stop to all of that." You've got that um, piggybacking off of big players like BlackRock and Fidelity and the major financial institutions now buying crypto, buying Bitcoin, Dude. Ethereum's yeah, next, ETFs. Solana's next, yeah, Ethereum's ETFs. Next. Yep. You know, yep. so it's like you can't be on the other side of this any longer um, right. without looking foolish. Um, so That's I think right. this statement is really, you know, regardless of where somebody leans politically, what's great about this is it's kind of forced both sides to be pro crypto. Yeah. And and now the whole narrative will change. All well, the yes. boogeyman stories will go away and it yes. will, we will allow the public to see this exciting industry for what it is. So I think the public perception is only going to elevate in a in a dramatic positive way over the next couple of years. It's like starting now, starting this election cycle. Right, this election. Yeah, so, so what I'm hearing you saying it's it's sounding like it's becoming pre-political. It's 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 becoming yeah. foundational <laughs> to just society yes. itself. Yes. And both parties end up embracing it in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, certainly if BlackRock's embracing it, eventually Democrats yeah. are gonna have to embrace <laughs> it, right? Well, that's for sure. Um, but there's still a lot of people who aren't sure about the whole uh crypto world. It's new, they can't quite wrap their heads around it. Um you know, it's, I guess it might be comparable to explaining to people how um, uh, originally how email, <laughs> electronic digital mail is actually mail. I don't know. If they couldn't quite get their heads around. What do you mean? No stamp or envelope or something like that. How can yeah. regular people um, learn more and stay informed uh, and benefit from? getting into crypto who who have yet to wade into the waters yeah yeah this this is this is key especially now because when something's so new um you have to find credible sources right um you have to you have to follow i think the champions of the industry who are looking at this positively and i'll just name a couple of you know resources people can go to um, number one would be uh, on a legislative side. I think one of the biggest champions for crypto right now is a gentleman named uh, Patrick McHenry. He's the chair of the Financial Services Committee uh, for this country, and he is a huge proponent and advocate of crypto uh, regulation and clarity and guidance so that we can have a thriving uh, industry in, in the U.S. So, you know, paying attention to what regulators like 
like uh, he is doing is, is one place that you can start looking if you're interested in that side of the things. Um, going to what, what I would call the, the goody two shoes exchange, and I mean this with love, like Coinbase is my favorite exchange that operates here on, on the home front in the US. Um, they are the goody two shoes exchange. Why I say that is because to their own detriment, they have built their business slowly. They've lost out on market share because hmm. they've, they've tried to be very patient with our other side of our, you know, governing bodies that aren't so crypto friendly and they didn't want to start a fight. They wanted to do this the right way and, and, and give the sector time to grow with our regulators. And so, um, they're just really good advocates for the space and they have a lot of cool, you know, you call it easy one-on-one articles you can read. If you just go to coinbase.com and start poking around, they've got yeah. some really cool education for people to learn about what this is. This is the future of money um, and how to get involved and, and be a, a champion and support. Um, you know, they, they have a whole page dedicated to how you can tell your like local elected official that this matters to you, right? So yeah. they're really yeah. cool advocates on that front. But also just fundamental knowledge of of what is what is Bitcoin? What is crypto? How can I get some? Right. Like it's a great way to get into uh, get into the market. And, yeah. you know, I think the last bit that I would say is um, beyond that, it, it is tough because it's so new. Um, but you got to find a good community like mm -hmm. you, you got to have the right community of people because some of this industry is is wild west right we we've heard yeah. some of the stories if we paid attention to crypto over the last couple of years and so um you want to find a good community where people you know have a vested interest in you and like-minded um it, uh, that's partly why you know i ended up doing what i ended up doing in, in the space um but yeah to, to provide that community for people so they can have <laughs> a place to learn and grow and, and participate in this and I think you're being very humble, gang. Yeah. <laughs> Click on the link below and join the community. Dan's wonderful. The gag at DeFi, that's exactly what they are. They are that community to come alongside you, give you the expertise so you learn together and grow and flourish financially together. So definitely click on that link below. Dan's, Dan's the man. Yeah. I mean, speaking of, do you have a, uh, do you have a quick like success story that you could share? Of a, of a courageous patriot stepping out, joining that community uh, and uh, and awakening the parallel economy with crypto in their own lives? Sure, yeah, yeah, it's funny. We have, so we have um, in our community, we do, so we have coursework and, and things like that where people can learn. And, um, you know, we teach the fundamentals of what, what crypto is. And then we go deeper than that because you just said it, there's a parallel economy happening right now that you could participate in. And there's a parallel financial market as well. Um, and not only can you hold crypto, but you can support this parallel market and not only build wealth with these assets over time, but, but actually generate a yield or a cash flow off of them now. And that, that's like what our education is centered around. And um, we have, you know, so we have training to help people do this, to figure out how to do this. Uh, and, and most people come to us with no experience, right? Ni I say 90%. Right. They, they've never more. dealt with crypto before, right? No, no, they, right. they've, they've Amazing. never. Yeah. And actually I didn't know that that was going to be the case when we started this community. Um, but I found that we had a lot of new people coming in and I, you know, our first year I was like, oh, I hope, let's see if we're able to help these people. Right. And we were, which was, which was amazing. And so we kind of actually structured our whole community around. That was the big aha moment I had that, that we can help the average person come in without a financial background, without a trading background, without a crypto background, and teach them what they need to know to get into the space safely, to be their own custodian, right? Which is key. Like all those uh, yeah. things in the past, like people losing money on places like FTX or Voyager, right. those, you know, they basically trusted a, a third party to, to help them get into crypto. But our community is about empowering you as the individual to be sovereign yourself to be mm -hmm. in control of your own crypto. And so mm -hmm. um, we started teaching that. And um, uh, not only do we teach it, but we have um, events and, and, and meetings every week where we meet face-to-face -face virtually, kind of like this here, kind of like how you and I are hanging out. We have group calls with each other and it's a really, it's a really cool aspect of, of what we do. And actually, eventually I'm getting to your question here. Um, I met one of our members for the first time face-to-face, -face, uh, Rhonda, 
uh, just this past Tuesday. And she told me the story about how she was involved. Uh, she tried to get involved into crypto and she didn't know how to discern the good, the bad, you know, right. uh, from itself. Right. And, um, yeah. she learned how to do that in our community. And not only did she make up for, um, she got scammed once or twice. Um, wow. we had another, another member, Mark, who actually, um, lost money in, in the Voyager exploit, right? These are things, uh, just yeah. when you don't know how to self custody, you could, you could fall, fall into these situations. Right. And both of them were on the call and they both shared their story about how not only has, has being part of our community been liberating for them and that it taught them how to do this independently, but in the short time, um, they've been with us. One of, I think Rhonda has been with us for about six or seven months and, um, Mark's been with us for, um, about a year. Right. Okay. They have, they have multiplied their losses back. Right. Wow. And not only that, but they're cash flowing off of, off of their crypto portfolios, which, which is amazing. So, and wow. they, both of them have no prior experience to this world, like this decentralized finance aspect of this. Right. That's what we right. focus on. Right. So, so not only were they neophytes at it, but they had actually originally lost money trying to do it themselves. Yeah. Then they joined the community and now they're cash flow positive with, with crypto. Can you, can you give us a little bit of an ins? Cause to me, that's the most exciting thing of what prime DeFi does is you, is you, um, you, uh, you don't treat Bitcoin as just solely an investment, something to cash out on years and years. You actually show how you can build generational wealth like now with with crypto and become liquid yeah. with it now can you get can you uh, flesh that out for us a little bit yeah yeah i kind of hinted at it but, but let's go deeper so the the parallel financial market what i mean by that i'll give an analogy because this will be something that people can understand without actually having firsthand knowledge of it right because you don't have firsthand knowledge till you do it and then you you get all those ahas but think of how we have atm machines all over the place right and um, uh, what's what's worse than when you need cash and there's no ATM machine around, right? Like it, it, you're in a pickle. And so ATM machine businesses, their business model is is to be that service for you when you need that, right? When you need access to cash, right? And so there's there's a parallel market, a parallel financial market that's open on the blockchain, free, transparent, right? Where people can buy and sell and trade crypto. And the thing is, though, there's not enough machine. There's not enough machines, uh -huh. ATM machines, to service the demand. And so, on one hand, you can hold your crypto, right? And similar to if you owned an ATM business, you can just hold your cash. But if you're if you're willing to run this ATM machine business, you know you're kind of lending the cash to the the machine, right? But what's the real business there? The real business is the fee, that three dollar fee that you pay when you use the yeah. ATM. So people trade all the time on Coinbase or in Robinhood. If, if forget crypto for a minute, when people trade, they pay trading fees. So this right. parallel financial market, right, that deals with crypto, has a way for um, people to trade. However, there's a demand for what's called liquidity, right? These right. we need these digital cash machines um, sourced so people can use them. And if you help support that. You get to collect the fee goes to you instead of the big exchanges who make billions of dollars. This has been their business model for years, for decades, right? It's never been accessible to the average person. You, you needed a billion dollars to start an exchange, right? Well, now you could be the average Joe or the average Jane with some startup capital. You support wow. the financial market. You're holding your crypto. You still have the crypto. And now you get to collect fees from other people <laughs> using this, this cool. marketplace. The, it's the best of both worlds, you know? It, it is. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Oh, it's I like love this, it. this best kept secret that uh, hardly anyone knows about right now. It's a cliche thing to say, but it, but it, it is true, you know? It's the best kept <laughs> secret. And now all these patriots listening are learning about it right now. Gag, seriously, if you want to build real generational wealth, the kind you dream of for your kids and your grandkids, I mean, you got to give crypto a try. It's just me. I'm a, a huge, you guys know, I'm a huge believer in crypto i'm in on crypto as well as gold i use gold to hedge the crypto the ups and downs but there's nothing like this amazing 
DeFi, de decentralized financial industry like crypto that's coming up right now. Dan, Dan and the guys at Prime DeFi, they're experts. We're on the front lines of this rising crypto civilization. They know it inside and out. So let them lead you to win big. I'm letting them doing that for me as well. So we're all in this together. Click on that link below, supercharge your financial situation and build a parallel economy one Bitcoin at a time. Daniel, Daniel son, thank you so much for clarifying <laughs> and cutting through all the confusion on crypto. Very appreciated. Yes, sir. It was great to be here. Thank you, Dan.